So, today's ride we are going to do the Ciaran Path at Kinloch Leven. Now normally we would go up the service road here up to the dam, cross over and come back down. But I am armed with an e-bike. So today I'm going to try and not only go down the Ciaran Path but also go up it. <laughs> and we're off to a good start. So I'm going to try and go up it. Um, I definitely won't be able to ride it all, but hopefully I'll be able to ride most of it. And uh, I'm going to work on my climbing technique. It's going to be a tough day. So this trail, whilst it will be awkward, it's actually not overly steep. It's a pretty gradual climb. In fact, it uh, goes up and down a couple of times, but yeah, it's more the awkwardness. It's kind of chunky rocks, uh, slippery in places, and the odd kind of stepped section as well. If I've learned anything in the first uh, portion of this trail is my climbing technique does need work. Okay, slight change in character and terrain. And we've got the looser oh, big up rocks. Let's see if I can get up here. No way am I getting through that. No way. I think this is a mistake. Yeah, I think it is a mistake, but uh, we'll persevere. We'll stick with it. <laughs> See it through. Right, definitely in boost. High cadence. Slapping out. It's the grip that's the problem here. If this was summer I would be tempted for a swim, but that right there is snow melt just now, so I'm not so tempted. I definitely can't cycle up this, but this is definitely more like a Kinloch leaving kind of terrain. I'm actually quite looking forward to coming down now. I forgot to admit, I was getting so, so mad at myself heading up there, and I lost my rag a few times. Not, not ashamed to admit that. It's all part of it. However, I turned around and that's what I seen. And that's calming for me. Just being outside, nice day considering it's February. Beautiful backdrop. I do have a good trail ahead of me. Things are looking up, literally. And we've got a waterfall, I'll show you in a second. There is said waterfall. 
say I'm not going to go much higher than this. I'll probably just push up to that crest there and we're going to have a look around the waterfall. I never took the time to stop last time. So this is a sub block to the the main dam. The main dam is just up out of sight. We won't be going as far as that today because uh, it's quite windy and up up the top is quite boggy anyway. So this will do us just nicely for today. I probably could go a bit higher, but only to like there. And I don't think it's overly worth it. Oh, that bit of trail looks good. This will be fine. Wow. No messing. No warm up. Try to get inside there, yes. There's no way I can memorise all the lines of the way down. It's just a sea of rocks. Oh. Bike is feeling fantastic. Proper chunk. And loose chunk at that. It's the holder line is oh, very hard to do. Oh. Down here we have the turn of death. Right here it is. We keep out wide. Just the one. Whoa. Hey, that was all right. This is going so much better than the climb. Oh, held it. Oh yeah, that's one right. Keep to the right. Not quite. Got a nice light. Sun, thankfully, to our left. Oh. Whoa. Jesus. Keep it to the left here. Big roll. Again, left here. <laughs> like a champ. Like a champ.
No. This isn't even the hard bit. Come on, that old one. Of course. Of course. So I didn't really want to mention this during this video. I was going to mention it at the end. But I was wondering how my rear tyre was going to get on. Last time I was in Kinloch leaving, first time on this bike, and I managed to puncture it right at the edge of the rim and on the top, quite an awkward snake bite. And sure enough, it's, uh, it's failed again on me. I will be changing the tire out. I've had a lot of problem with Maxxis of old. I'll keep the front, seems to be going well, the uh, Asagai. But um, yeah, well, we've just got another flat. And I don't generally get many of them these days. The good news is, is I actually just popped the old bacon strip out. So in theory, we put this back in, pop it back up, we should be okay. Not one bacon strip, but two. Oh, oh, it's going, it's going. <laughs> Hoping that'll be enough. So, this right here is where another path intersects and uh, this was start of stage 2 for the Kinloch Leaven Enduro, I think it was also a British Enduro Series 1, I think it was also an EWS qualifier. This was stage 2 and it was by far the most pedally and I think the one, as a result, I got the worst time on. We've got a new bike today, we're not in a race situation so can just enjoy it for what it is. Oh. Or can we? Yes, the fun bit. Turbo, couple of gears down, saddle up a touch. Yeah. I bet there was a few nutcases managed to clean that in the enduro on a regular bike as well. I take my hat off to you. No way this back tire's making it through today. <laughs> right, it's not gonna go too hard down here. Just take it nice, steady, keep the knees bent. Oh. Very soft now. Ah. What a day. So, where is it? Repair from last time. Uh, another uh, repair this time. 
but also managed to dent the rim here and get another leak uh, all because the tire went soft so not a good day for this rear wheel we really only have a tiny little bit to go so hopefully <laughs> hopefully no more problems Yeah, we're soft already. Oh, that's all she wrote. How is that? Well, close enough to the car now where I'll just push the uh, oh, the rear tire. Give up the ghost after all. Uh, this place is brutal on wheels and tires and crank arms and anything low down. Uh, actually, just brutal on bikes and body. But I keep coming back, it's a good place. It's uh, challenging, technical to ride, and if you get it right, it's a whole load of fun. And if you don't get it wrong, not so good, but yeah. Uh, I will be going home now and ordering up probably a Schwalbe Eddy Current, which is what I put on my pivot shuttle and had no problems from there on in. So hopefully that can be the same for the new bike. I uh, hope this was semi-entertaining uh, <laughs> in some way. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Ciao.